haven't seen you around before. Are you new here? Welcome to Monster High. It's really nice to meet you. I love it when the school gets new blood. There's always a chance of making new friends. Oh, before I forget, you might find this new updated version of the eye coffin map handy. It'll help you find your way around campus. Would you like me to explain how to use the eye coffin map? You know, being new and all, you should probably head on over to the office to see Headmistress Bloodgood. No doubt you'll need to sign in or something. But I've updated your eye coffin map with the location of the office. You better get going. You don't want to keep Bloodgood waiting. She might, um, lose her head. <laughs> be the new ghoul. I'm Ms. Bloodgood, the headmistress of Monster High. On behalf of the staff and students, I'd like to offer you a warm welcome to the campus to help your transition into the school. I've assigned you a student buddy to show you around and introduce you to some of her friends. Her name is Spectra Vondergeist, and she's a bit of a celebrity around these parts. You may know her as the blogger for the Gory Gazette, if that is your thing. Anyway, I I've uploaded Spectra's location to your eye coffin map. She's probably looking for her next big story. Who knows? It might even be you. Hope you have a spooktacular first day.
told me all about. It's really great to meet you. It'll be fun showing you around while I scope out all the latest news around Monster High. My first piece of advice is to join at least one of the many clubs at Monster High. It's a great way to meet new people with similar interests and get more involved with what's happening at the school. For instance, it looks like you've got something going on in the style department. With that sort of passion for fashion, you could be a big hit in the fashion club. Do you think you might be interested? Well, there is a bunch of other clubs on campus. Everything from robotics and cooking to the comic book club, which Gulia runs. The two most popular clubs at Monster High are the Student Council, of which I am a member, and the Fear Leading Squad. If you tried out for either of these, I think you'd really enjoy it. It's my pleasure. Now, my second piece of advice is that you can never have too many friends. And I've got a couple of people in mind for you to meet. Would you like to join and meet a few of my friends? My friends are just over there. Hey, Draculaura! This is the new ghoul. I was telling her all about you and the fear leaders. I thought you ghouls should hook up. Do you think you could keep her company while I get some research done for my blog? She seems quite interested in joining the fear leading team, so you should have a lot to talk about. Hi, it's nice to meet you. So you're thinking about joining the fear leading team. A lot of people don't know this, but it's not just about learning fear routines. Ha uh ha! -uh. Being a fear leader is actually all about boosting school spirit. It's one of the most important things a ghoul can do. So let's catch up later and I'll put in a good word with Cleo, the team captain. Oh, by the way, have you met Laguna yet? No? Oh, I just have to introduce you. She's a part of the student council. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, she's your ghoul. Hey, Laguna, over here. I'd like you to meet the new ghoul. I was telling her all about fear leading and thought she should meet you in case she'd like to join the student council too. Hey, oh, it's awesome to meet you. I just love chatting about the work we do on the student council. Joining the student council is one of the few ways that you can really make a difference at Monster High. I know I'm a bit biased, but I think you'd make a great member of the team. It looks like you've got a good head on your shoulders and you'd be doing something that could really change the school for the better. If you want to leave your mark on Monster High and help the students while doing so, there's no better way than the student council. Who knows, with a bit of hard work, you could even become student disembodied president. So what do you say? You want to sign up? That's totally clawsome. I see big things for you in the future. Together, we'll help make Monster High a better place for all of the students. Congratulations! You're now officially a member of the Student Council. Look, there's a meeting starting in about 10 minutes. Why don't you come by and check it out for yourself? I've updated your eye coffin map with the location. I've got a jet, but I'll meet you there. See ya! I'm glad you came. Come on over and I'll introduce you to the rest of the student council. So, this is Abby. She's the council's treasurer. Nice to meet you, Ghoul. I have good feeling about you. I think you are someone I can trust. I have knack of picking up on these things. This is Spectra, the gory Gazette blogger herself. 
course, you've already met. It's great to see you again. I'm glad you decided to join the student council. I look forward to working with you on some of our projects. I've got a good feeling about this year. This is Katrine. She's originally from Scaris, France. Trust me, once you get to know her, she's a real scream. Bonjour. It is really nice to meet you. If you ever want to chat about art or fashion, be sure to hit me up. I really look forward to working with you on the student council. Now this rockin' wear cat is our fearless leader, Torelai, the president of the student council. Welcome to the student council. I hope you're ready to do some good things at Monster High. If not, it's probably time to leave. Look, to be honest, Torelai can be a bit of a mean ghoul at times, but don't totally believe her rep. Underneath that catty exterior is a soft spot for ghouls in need. Well, that's it for the intros. As you can see, we've got a pretty diverse group here and I'm sure you'll fit right in. Hey, Torelai, want to get this council meeting rolling? We haven't got all day. Okay, that's enough jabbering. Everyone take your seats. This meeting of the student council is in session. Now, to the first order of business, the role of vice president is up for election again. We need to decide which member of the council should take on the role. As Prez, I'd like to put forward Laguna as my right-hand ghoul. Wow! Thanks, Torelai. That's a huge responsibility. It's a nomination that's well-deserved. And it'll keep anyone suspicious about how I became Prez off my back. So let's take it to a vote. All those in favor of Laguna in the position of Vice President, raise your hand. All those opposed, raise your hand. Wait a second. That's only five votes. There are six of us. Hey, ghoul, which way do you want to vote? Okay, that's five to one in favor. The motion passed. Clawsome! Now on to the next order of business. What should be our first council project? Suggestions, anyone? Oh, come on! It's not like there aren't tons of great ideas. We just need one or two to get the ball rolling. I say we sleep on it. Everyone put on your thinking caps and we'll reconvene tomorrow morning. See you all tomorrow. Meeting adjourned. leading team? Fear leaders are the coolest ghouls in school, and we help to boost team spirit at sporting events. I think you'd make a fantastic member of the fear leading team. You've got the right look, and with a little hard work, you'd learn the routines in no time. You never know. There's even a chance you could become the captain of the fear leading team. So how about it? Would you like to join the fear leaders? That's totally fantastic! I can already see that you'll be a great addition to the team. Look, I've got
got a few errands to run before fear leading starts at lunch. How about you meet me there and I'll introduce you to the team. I've updated your eye coffin map with the deets. I'll catch you there.
are. Draculaura said that you'd be coming by. Let me introduce you to the fear leading team. There's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. The members of the fear leading team are just like a family. First up, we have my GFF, Draculaura, who I believe you've already met. We sure have. I'm the one who put in a good word for her with Cleo. It's fantastic that you made the team. The fear leaders can always use some new blood. I just can't wait till we start practicing some new routines. It's going to be scary cool. Next is my other GFF, Claudine. She's a werewolf, but don't let that scare you off. She's really into fashion and deep down, she's just a puppy at heart. Hey, it's great to meet a new member of the team. If you ever want some fashion advice, be sure to hit me up. I'm always up with the latest and greatest. If only we could update the fear leading outfits. It would be a dream come true. Anyways, have yourself a clawsome first practice and be sure not to take anything Cleo says to heart. She can be a little harsh at times. Last, but certainly not least, we have Cleo, the fear leading team's captain. So, I guess you could say she's the mummy of this family. <laughs> Cleo's a really competitive spirit and a true perfectionist. She might be hard on us a lot of the time, but all that tough love has made us far better fear leaders than we ever thought possible. Oh, so you're the new ghoul I've heard so much about. Draculaura only had the nicest of things to say about you. She's sure you're true fear leader material. Just remember though, fear leading takes dedication, determination, lots of attitude, and tons of practice. As far as I'm concerned, the jury's still out on you, but we'll see. To make it in the fear leaders, you're going to need to push yourself. Show everyone what you're really made of. Trust me, you'll have lots of opportunities to do so. But first, I want to tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a talented fear leading team at a school very much like Monster High. They had a shot at the Monster Nationals, but their captain felt pity for the team members during practice and didn't push them nearly as hard as she could. Do you know what happened when they finally competed at the Nationals? They came runners up. So, new ghoul, after hearing my story, do you know what this team needs? Yes, the team should have worked harder instead of whining and complaining about how tired they were. Remember that when you think I'm being too hard on you, because I'll never let that happen ever again. But enough reminiscing. I have a little task for you to get things rolling. A way you can gain the team's respect and prove your commitment. This year's Monster Fear Leading Nationals are just around the corner. And as you'd expect, having a killer routine is half the battle. Age old myths here at Monster High tell of a legendary fear leading captain named Shiva Nataraja, who led her team to Monster Nationals victory five years running. Her secret? Ancient cosmic fear leading steps that when combined into a routine are said to be unbeatable. Shiva disappeared decades ago under mysterious circumstances and with her the mystical fear leading moves. However, rumors persist that the steps are hidden here at Monster High. Your first official fear leading task is to find the opening trio of fear steps. Tappa Tappa, Pop It, and Bow and Arrow. The only clue we have to their location is a riddle. I know it's a little cryptic, but I'm sure you'll work it out. The riddle is what runs, has no feet, and never gets tired. And the clue is twer. Do you know what the answer is? Oh my ghoul, I think you've got it. 
Water! I guess this means that the steps are hidden somewhere near water. The pool! That's it! Go get those steps! Well, well, I must admit, I'm a little impressed. You just might have what it takes to become a fear leader after all. Okay, ghouls, it's time to wrap up and call it a day. Tomorrow, we'll start with the cosmic fear leading steps. I'll expect you all here nice and early for practice.